this little pattern <clears throat> obviously it's another pattern and it works really well early season however given its size and its little delicate profile I find myself turning to this one um, when the grayling come up you'll often get hatches of fly, hatches of olives through the winter months um, right through even in the chalk streams you'll get them in January however even in your big rivers you'll see them through December uh, November and December and this is a fly that I turn to time and again for grayling and it's an easy one to tie um, there's not an awful lot to it and you'll see a lot of similar patterns this is my version and it's basically just a little delicate olive and this one um, kind of there's a few flies similar to it but this one was based on bear the noise I'm getting a, a little hook out there the pocket here the original one is basically a play on somebody's plume tip um, it's basically just a little olive, olive pattern but a lot of people have got similar versions most of them come from the Czech Republic so this is a little hook that I'm using and this is a size 16 fine wire dry fly um, it's the one that I prefer to use the one thing I don't have and I'm just going to have to lean over a second to grab it is my body dubbing can you bear me a wee second so the first thing I'll do is I'll get the, the hook in the vise and I'll start with this camel thread and I'll leave myself a little bit of space at the front just take that off there now I'm coming down right to the bend just as it starts to move on the bend bear me a wee second get my tub in this thing I've got a lot of it's a an A an A4 folder of different very thin light dubbins. Uh, this is the one that I use. I can get that up in the camera. Can you see that? SF 200 is the color. Semperfly SF 200 part of the yellows. It's more a dirty olive. I'm just gonna get myself a generous wee pinch of that. And just a really thin, delicate body. That's the key to this fly's uh, success, I think, just the delicacy of it. So, very, very thin dubbing. Give myself a little bit of space here. I'll show you for a while in a second. And that's it. A little bit. There you go. Really, really, really delicate stuff. So I've got here two CDC feathers, just married up at the tips. I've got to pull the fibers. So they've got like a little, you can see the curve of the feather, if you like. I'm going to lay that on with a pinching loop so that they're sitting right. I'm happy with where they're sitting. I'll leave myself a little bit of space at the front. There's a reason for that. And then just kick these fibres up here. A couple of turns. In behind. And then finally just another tiny, tiny little bit of the dubbing on your thread. Probably too much there. Tiny bit of the dubbing onto the thread. Just to create a little step at the back there. Keeping these ones working forward. Like so. So you've got a little bit there. And then get your thread back into that thorax region. Here. Because we're going to add a tiny little bit of hen spectra. And it's number 35, that little orange colour. You can go brighter, I just like the subtlety of this colour. It just works well for me in this. And again, I want this super, super tight. Just to extend the colour. So, super tight on my, my thread. And I'm just going to cover those thread wraps. That tiny little thorax area. So, super tight on the dubbing. Going down to come back up through. 
like so. So that's me got it on. I'm going to come up through, pull my fibers back at the front of the fly, and tie off like so. In with my whip finishing tool. So I've got the paws there, but the same length as the body. Pull it with the back, whip finish. Nice and tiny. And then your last bit, just to finish the fly off, is you just come in, you have a little step, just a tiny little step, with your CDC, so that just sits perfect on the water. And that's my little olive, basically based on a, a plume tip, if you like, but I've got a little addition there of the feather fibers just behind the the thorax. A great fly, fish to sighted grayling that are rising through the winter months. Also works a treat early in the season, obviously, but yeah, love a little fly. Hope you enjoyed that, folks. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Take care, and I'll see you again soon.